So it's been a minute since I've really talked about anything, uh, Endec related, I guess, on this channel at least, and I kind of want to start going into that sort of content a little more. So, today, um, I'm just going to be doing a little overview of how my digital index work. I say digital because one of them isn't really a digital index, but at the same time it kind of is. So, we're going to start by checking out the Trilithic Easy Plus. And I'm going to show you both ways that I can originate an alert on it. So first way, which is easiest, is with one of my IP phones. So what I do is I just go in here, I dial it. And then uh, there is a PDF document. Actually, I have it right here. And this shows you all of the different options for alerts you can send. So we're going to send a demo. So this is going to send a demo for the location for one hour for the location program to my user, which is Kalamazoo. And now I can talk. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is required. And we're done. We hit pad. That hangs up. So now what we can do is I'm actually going to make this so you guys can hear. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is required. So that's option number one. Now for option number two, I'm actually going to switch over to the computer. All right. So the other way of originating an alert through the uh, Easy Plus is through the uh, configuration slash management tool, which is readily available online. Uh, I believe it's on the Internet Archive. But, uh, apologies if you hear my sage in the background. There's some weather going on down south. Uh, so, what we do from here is you would either select... Um, serial or ethernet i am using ethernet because i have it on my network you put in your password and you go to utilities encoder and this is where you choose everything so i'm going to send a practice demo warning for kalamazoo county i'm only going to send it for 15 minutes and i'm going to send to the encoder don't know why it was trying to do that nope must have gotten an alert. I'm going to abort that. Uh, so we're going to send this. And then we're going to watch this. Oh, it's relaying a glass of it. Right, well, here we go. It's going to set up with no audio. This is a live internal systems test. Please disregard this message. Well, that's Marley. Okay. <laughs> wonder what that was for. But typically, it would not send with any audio because um, the way it works is when you're originating something from the 
configuration program it just uses whatever audio is already in the unit uh, so you can upload a file here you can upload the EIS file but I'm not gonna do that uh, yeah and the thing is with with the phone I didn't really go in depth the way it works is uh, I have a free PBX server set up on my uh, infrastructure and I have a SIP ATA that is plugged into the Easy Plus and is registered to an extension on my system. So I can call in from anywhere through my number and uh, send an alert if I were to have the need to do that. So now uh, we're going to actually move on to my. Alright, so with the DAS deck, uh, what you do is you just come to the encoder page, send alert. Mine's on a pretty old version, so I don't know if the. Uh, I don't know how different the newer versions are, but you choose your alert type. So I'm going to go with a practice demo warning. I'm going to do 15 minutes for Kalamazoo County. Uh, that's fine. This is fine. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to hit send alert. And then yes. So now... We watch this. The broadcast station or cable system has issued a practice slash demo warning for the following counties slash areas. Kalamazoo, Michigan, at 5.26 p.m. on May 28, 2020 for effective until 5.41 p.m. Message from OU, this is a test of the emergency alert system. Please disregard this test message. So that's that. So that's all I have today. Um, I am waiting on an easy cap. Should be getting that soon, so I'll do another video when I get that. But I just want to kind of showcase a little bit of uh, how you use these things. Because there's a lot of unknown. And yeah, 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 read the manual, whatever. But sometimes it's easier to just watch someone do it. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I just thought it'd be a little neat to kind of show off some new things I've gotten recently. And, well, I have had the Easy Plus since last year, but the DAS deck I got last uh, Thursday. So, that's it. I got some really cool things coming soon in the mail as well. And by that, I mean I have one thing coming. So, if everything goes to plan, it should be pretty awesome. But apart from that... That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be working on a compilation here pretty soon. Because uh, I was actually working on a compilation from last year. And I've just been trying to work on that for months. And I never finished it. And then May 7th happened. And I decided I needed to get that compilation out as soon as possible. So I got it out next day. Which was great. So yeah. That'll be out sooner now sooner or later and I guess if you have any questions I'll try to answer them like about either of these index uh, I will also leave the stream links down in the uh, description because I do have these both streaming video and audio uh, through my RTMP server and the Gwes ERN Icecast server so and I'll leave a little summary of what each thing does at the moment so that you can keep them in mind for weather events. So without further ado, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later.